He's combo. It? He's combo wombo wombo. No, sometimes he's aggro. No, A bar is combo wombo. I have. Okay, I believe you. I'm gonna message A bar and I'm gonna say, uh, QD, I wish you the best of luck. Don't in, BM him. In this game. God, risky skipper armorsmith stuff is brutal. Yeah, so we're not gonna play the armorsmith on two. Right. We're gonna go cash into bomb wrangler. Bomb wrangler. I have a new idea for turn two. You're not I gonna do it. I to play this perfectly. Woo! That's a turn, boys. Huh. Perhaps the green button. <laughs> now that's a striking play. I want to play this bomb wrangler. The striking Biggest play. Minion but maybe the card. corsair cash is better. <gasps> nope. Next turn you can hero power. Next turn we're not hero power. Come on. You still play stuff versus combo demon hunter. Can't can't. Be yeah, yeah. The hero power doesn't gain armor fast enough. I agree. I've oh. seen people try to do it. They die. They die. You deal like yeah. 45 damage. You still live in like Virginia, right? I do live in Virginia, yeah. Okay. So Snarky McGee, he lives in a landlocked state. You can't possibly sub to him. You're going to need like a boat or not a boat, a train or a plane or a car. Planes, trains, and automobiles. That's what you want. Ooh, I got a Risky Skipper and I have Risky Skipper, Armistice, Bloodsworn, Mercenary. I think this might be a game where we Corsair cash your power. <sighs> That's an alpha maneuver. <laughs> oh, you got the right weapon. This weapon gets cheap pirates, which are really great with your armor gain turn. Yes, they are. So we want like eight mana to do all that, right? I mean, we'll just do it when it's right and no sooner. We're going to Anchor. 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 You have three pirates in your deck, and this Anchor draws Arr. three pirates. So try to draw any pirates. Charge. That's what the Skyrider says. That's what we're going to draw this Anchor. 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 I'm going to ask Abar. You might play Little Guys first, and you then play, Armorsmith, and then Risky you Skipper. Play seven damaged minions next turn. You got to say, what is a pirate's favorite letter? And then he goes, I don't know. And then you play Anchor. And then he's like, it's R. And you're like, no. <laughs> a pirate's favorite letter be to C. Yes. His first love was to C. Okay, so no more mana burns. And mana burn is a hell of a card. It's You've been trying to play like control versus demon hunter, and then you like try and set up an AOE, and they're just like mana burn. Nice you setup. Know, like, up. There we go. Vargath mana burn. It's extremely pleasing. <laughs> that does sound good. Did you put? Is Vargath good in combo demon hunter? I don't think so. No. Oh, okay. Because uh, too many decks demon. are ahead on board against you, and then Vargath is bad when you're behind on board. Let's talk about next turn. Next turn, okay. everyone. What's the play? I'm pretty sure the best lineup is going to be all Kel'thas decks. <sighs> okay. It's going to involve a hero power and bad cards. Everyone calm down. Are you calm? I'm a little too excited. I can tell by the way your voice is sounding. Um, Chill out. Everyone needs to calm down. So we got to pressure him before he combos us. No, our pressure is the Armorsmith combo. All we have to do is not get one turn to this turn. We so I want to trade the Boombot, hero power, and spend four mana on bad cards. Okay. Prioritize the armor, you know. Let's like, hit him in the face. Yeah, weapon him in the face. That's a good way to start. Sure. Draw that card. You're a risky skipper. Cool. Do you want a risky skipper bomb wrangler? No. Do we need the risky skippers for the armor? We have one. We don't need the second one. But two is more. They cost one mana to play. They gain many armors. One's enough. Okay. I want you persuaded me. I like this one is enough theory. Oh my god. Imagine only doing just enough instead of rising above. Doing more. Yeah. One damage to extremes. See, this is what you get when you do just enough. You get one damage bombs. bombs Seems like, like enough, oh. honestly. <laughs> <laughs> You're raising a bunch of slackers on your team. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Tell, oh, tell me more one damage bombs, yes. Oh, two. All right, they're you, starting you to rise up. Yeah, you just got lucky. That was really good, though. Oh, look at that Illegal. Bomb. A beautiful bomb. God, I wish we had that Risky Skipper, though. So this wait, wait, what, what child of the family was the bomb? What was the overachiever there? Was it the third or the fourth bomb? It was the third. It went, no, fourth. It went one, one, two, four. 
So if you're the fourth in a family of four, you're a tryhard. That's right. I am the fourth in a family of four. Holy shit. Really? Yeah. The bombs are right. Bombs always know. Actually, I think the bombs have it backwards. I, <laughs> I am case. definitely not the tryhard of the family. <laughs> and then Livewire lands in prison, Vile Fiend, Hero Power. Do we die? I want to hit him in the face. I like this. Oh, gain life. I want to imprison Vile Fiend, Livewire Lance, Hero Power. Why don't we just gain the armor, though? You want to interage that 2 1? We could interage our armor smith and make a copy of it. I'm, like two I'm not two one. We kill the uh do we well the only problem is we don't really kill the Kalthos. Saying we don't really need to kill the Kalthos because we have a blood boil root. Oh I see. We'll figure something out. I've won games like this as Demon Hunter. I don't know how. Maybe not this game in particular, but games like this, somehow yeah. Demon Hunter gets there. They have the extra ten damage from the metamorphosis. So they they have like they have close to forty damage in their deck, right? Counts as for some meta. We're at thirty four. They they can't do it all in one turn though, is the thing. And he doesn't have metamorphosis preloaded. And then there's Altruis. So their max total is like forty five, but they you can't I've, possibly I've do done more than forty five in ten turns. Like in the first ten turns, more than forty five. Well, yeah, cool. I guess you're hitting them with the weapon too, and then hero Yeah, powers. there's like hero powers. There's all sorts of little bits of this and that. Yeah, yeah. Outlasting them sounds hard. Well, have you tried killing them? That's not easy either. You want to like, you want to go in on this turn? I wanted to go in last turn, so I'm I'm really excited to do it this turn. Let's do it. Do it to it. I want to hit him in the face. All right. Yeah, yeah let's get information. Very smart. Very smart. All right, let's do it to it. We could even value trade and evolve our Bud Boil Brute. Maybe. We might not Bloodsworn this armor smith. What if we do it on like a... What if we do it on the Brute somehow? No, we can't. No, this seems right. I want to play this guy. The big one's not getting any cheaper. The big one seems good here. I don't think he's going to be able to kill us. I think that's a lot of armor. He's going to need to stick some yeah. minions, and that's looking tricky. He needed to hit, like, like to do 50, he needs to hit with, like, every bit of chip damage on your face. And He's, he's, he's going to need to stick a twice. minion. Yeah. I think I did good work so far. Yes. I'm happy with you. We're actually not at 50, we're at 53, and then we're at, like, kind of, like, 60, because we have 1-1s. One and... Yeah, your power button still exists. Like, it's not going anywhere. Well, you could stick minions. Let's discuss could... his real out. Stick minions. He needs the stick minions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like uh, his minions are, they're like small. that cheap tape you get from the dollar store. They're not really sticky. Like that'll last you for like an hour. Pop. An hour is long enough, honestly. Yeah, well, that's we're talking tape. Imagine time. that it's tape on your face for an sweet. hour. Think about it, Firebat. That tape's on your face for an hour. Are you winning? I've won doing that before. Really? Because it sounds like if you've got that tape on your face for an hour, you are losing. Why do you have tape on your face for an hour, dude? You're kind of fucking weird, Firebit. Stupid, Ed. You're supposed to take the tape off. Well, sometimes you gotta tape things, man. Mm. Sometimes you're just bored and you're just playing with tape. Ends up on your face for an hour. <laughs> I hear winners talk like that all the time, yeah. Man, I feel like I'm getting targeted here because I know how to amuse myself with <laughs> tape when I'm bored. <laughs> All right, I want to play a one. Somebody's got to lead the charge. Yeah, I want to play a one. Two. Someone, someone's got. To. Disaster. Okay, well I don't want to. Oh, play that. we can run back the armor combo. I want to hear armor and pass. You want to punch Altruis and then trade the one one. Nah. Protect our life total. Okay. We don't care about tempo anymore because that just makes his removal able to be removal. But actually, isn't all demon hunter removal face damage anyways? No, there's I beams that are for trading. Um, okay, he's used both. Of those. I'm at 58. Yeah, I, I know. think I think he's a little bit. That's right. Gonna, he's a little bit too much damage. He's hold on, he's like getting there. Hold on. Five more of those. Hold on, hold on. This is 11 damage. What's 58 so minus? Gonna be 58 minus 12. Right he's doing it. He's weaving in the hero weaving power. Weaving I want to armor up pure power pass. That guy's pretty brutal. Well, we could play the armor smith and trade the one two. Dude, right? when my opponent's skipping turns and then they top deck their biggest minion, it makes my blood boil. I'm, I'm I just get so mad. Gonna, uh, we just armor up pure power pass. 
You could play some things. Maybe you yeah. could evolve. Yeah, he's gonna blade play. him. He wants to he wants to stick a Kalthos. We go Risky Skipper, Armor Smith, stuff, stuff, and then most people cut Blade Dance. A bar is a bar, and I don't know I don't know about you, but I feel confident at 48 life after he's already used an inner age that I'm probably gonna be okay. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna take it slow because I'm the control deck here and I have an answer to literally everything he does. Yep, I like that mindset. Okay. We're the control deck, the less we do the better. That's just man. I gained two life that turn fire bit. That's two more lives than you've ever had. <sighs> Shots <Wow>. fired. <laughs> I feel like you've had a very accomplished life, actually. What's like, the other one? That's, that's probably pretty sweet. I can't complain about it too much. Being world champion has to be fucking kick ass, you know? I didn't appreciate it enough when I had it. I would be a much better world champion now, I think. I want to play this 2 3. I'm glad that you were the first world champion for Hearthstone. I'm really glad about that. Yeah. I'll play this 2 3. That was good. Me too. I, it felt good. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. I really wouldn't have had it any other way. Yeah, that was my favorite way that event could happen. One of the, I feel like most of the world champions for Hearthstone have been like, they've been good storylines. Is that what you think of me as a storyline? Yeah, that's, that's, that's wow. it. Yeah. You know, you value me as a person. You're just. Dude. I'm just according to the role of champions, you had an Oasis Snapjaw on your deck, so congrats to you for uh, winning with yeah. Oasis Snapjaw. Although it didn't work out too it. well for you in the Tavern Brawl. Just years of shame behind it. Stupid noob. Should have thought about that. Yeah. I think my decks are actually really good in the Tavern Brawl. Uh, well, did you consider playing some broken cards, like Corridor Creeper, Keliseth, Patches? They didn't exist. Oh, yeah, I should have oh, thought that I through, have... huh, buddy? I kind of want to blood blood really should have considered that. He kind when of people that are like never played Hearthstone before get a hold of my deck and play it, <laughs> powerful, it's pretty new player friendly because you just play. That's Undertaker. exactly the card we needed to win this game. Yeah, maybe maybe your sister's played six eight. No, I think this Natalie Celine's gonna get him to commit. So good, so good. This is it. Eight attack. Whew. I'm doing Fourth it, man. Roar Druid, man. My decks were great. The the they the were road great. Deck is like so much better than anything else by no, no, no. pre-nerf miracle rogue is insane yeah the pre-nerf miracle rogue I is have five like mana gadget times right? better In, okay I wait that might even be four mana gadget right was that four at one point or something silly five sounds right yeah. but prep made three conceal was a card uh, oh my yeah. god you were just cold blood cold blood hit someone conceal oh, it cold blood was one mana it was five mana gadget three mana prep one mana cold blood Conceal yeah. existed. Leroy Conceal. existed at four mana. Oh my god. That was pretty good. The Leroy Shadow Step was so much better when Leroy was four mana. Yeah. You Basically, you most of that deck got nerfed. That deck was ridiculous. That was the first deck I played to Legend. A Grok. The first deck I played to Legend was Ramp Druid, and it had two Faceless Manipulators and... Two, two mana, plus two, plus twos. And I'd stick something like an Ancient of War and then plus two, plus two. Dude, it, you're... Get A1 worked out. You better make this... Oh, oh, oh Armorsmith, Armorsmith. Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> yup. Yup. God, and now he just outvalues you with his Zephyrus card. It's a Death Knight, Gul'dan, coming in. Reviving all the demons, turning his hero power into suck. Holy hell, he gained a lot of life, though. <laughs> good pick, Haybar, good pick. I like it. He needed value, pick the value card. Smart. See if Ysera can do it. I wanted to see if Ysera could do it.